Hey all my YouTube polar bear friends and all the people on YouTube that would be interested in joining the polar bear challenge this year. It's October 1st and hopefully I'll get this posted up by October 1st. It's the eight week countdown to the start of the polar bear challenge and we have some new stuff going on this year. Primarily we have a new polar bear challenge website. The old Ning site will stay up as long as it can, but uh, in the next renewal, I've heard a lot of people say the price is jumping up from uh, less than $30 a year to over $300 a year, and that just uh, ain't happening on my budget. And fortunately, a good friend of mine that I've known for quite a few years online does a lot of web work and uh, is giving us a server it is pretty much to ourselves. I think it has a, a hobby site of uh, his family and our Polar Bear Challenge site, so we've got a pretty nice setup there. And so the link I will put down below, it's pbc.digidane, D-I-G-I-D-A-N-E. That's the server name. And then our PBC goes ahead of that, and it's .com, so pbc.digidane.com. I've had a few friends help me test out the site since it's been up and being uh, put together and uh, some of the last little details worked out and I think it's pretty much 99% there. Not that anything in, in life or the internet's totally bug free, but I think we're uh, at least as good as what we had with Ning, if not a little bit better. We have more control over it and uh, we have personal contact with the guy that runs it and runs the server, so I think that's always a good thing. So yeah, go and uh, the sign-up will be starting now as of October if you're uh, interested in participating. I'm not saying it, you have to absolutely, but if you have an interest in participating, please sign up and, and get an account started. And we're not going to like you know yell and scream at you if for some reason you change your mind, but. Last year the turnout was a little bit low because over in Europe, our European polar bears from the year before got too warm of weather to be able to really do much in it. So I'm hoping for a better year this year. And then uh, it was even trouble for me in the Chicagoland area because of the ice storms and everything. So there was a lot of time I couldn't even get out either. And the one time I did attempt, that was the time I did get the coldest temperature by fighting the... Uh, two inches of ice on the ground and going down at least once right at the bottom of my driveway so some people probably question my sanity and I do too at times but absolutely if you uh, think there's a good chance you're going to participate and it's easy enough to do I'm going to tell you the basics but when you go to the site pbc.digidane.com there is a tab for the rules and so those are the official rules. So I'm just giving you a quick summary, but it does not cover everything. But this will kind of give you an idea that even though there's a an entire page of rules, just to make sure everybody's pretty much on the same page, which doesn't always work. We always still have questions and problems. But here are the basic thing. All you have to do, starting on December 1st, is somehow accomplish three rides of at least three minutes at 32 degrees or below. And uh, a lot of it's the honor system. We uh, assume you're gonna be honest about it and take a reading at the beginning of your ride of the temperature using an ambient thermometer. In the past, we did have some people use laser or so-called infrared thermometers and we found out those things are not accurate at all. You can pretty much create any temperature you want. I took, I took mine out and did a temperature on the sky and it was minus 72 degrees, so. We want it to be an ambient thermometer. It doesn't have to be mercury or alcohol thermometer. It can be a digital, and you can even drive by a bank sign. That's cool. Uh, some people in the past have even used the temperature gauge in their car. They just turn the key under their car and shoot that because that's an ambient temperature sensor that's in your car, and that will do just fine. So I would encourage everybody that's interested to definitely get over, sign up for the new site, and join the PBC Challenge. It's always a heck of a lot of fun, and that's the main part, really. It's not so much the competition or anything. I mean, we have statistics and stuff, 
Um, we do have a judge picked for this year, uh, Todd Capuz, which has done, he did statistics in uh, the one before last, I think, two polar bear challenges ago, and did a really excellent job at it. He volunteered to step up and be the judge, which I think if anybody is qualified in uh, multiple ways, he certainly is. I mean, except for the fact that last year living in Florida kind of put a damper on his participating in the polar bear challenge itself. He's always been a, a big supporter, and I really welcome him on board to be the judge. So even if he's not able to get his three rides in or barely able to get them in, whatever he's able to accomplish, uh, I'm sure he's going to be an excellent judge. But we do have one position open if you guys want to do, and you're familiar with it, you uh, former polar bears are familiar with the fact that we keep a spreadsheet of statistics and the one time I tried it I did such a terrible job that uh, everyday writing uh, stepped in and took over before I totally muddled it up um, and then last year we had Aaron gentleman's nine did another excellent job with statistics we do need somebody if you want to have the statistics the point system the competition which it's not necessarily to have fun I mean I'm not really in it myself for there's no chance I'm gonna win the points and it was just sheer luck I even won the lowest temperature. If anybody competes from Minnesota or any places like that, I'm doomed. I'm never gonna get the lowest temperature. But anyhow, we do need a stats person, so if you would uh, like to fill in, I, I do not want to see where we have to use the same guys be judges and stats people every year because it does get tiring. It's a, a lot of work to do for the 11 weeks. It's 77 days, 11 weeks, and uh, it does get to be tedious and a lot of work at times. Whether you're a judge, whether you're an assistant judge, or whether you're a, a stats person. And we could actually even use an assistant judge now. I know Navy Thomas is always will, willing to fill in. I mean, he said he'd even do the stats if need be. But uh, I would like to see some new people, and I would especially like to see somebody that has enjoyed the Polar Bear Challenge in the past to step in and be the assistant judge. Basically, the only assistant judge... Uh, thing that you have to do is just uh, judge the judge's videos so that he isn't judging his own it just to make it so that it's not like a conflict of interest That's pre and to consult with the judge if the judge needed some help or if he uh, for some reason should be gone for a week for a Christmas vacation or something and ask for some help that the uh, assistant judge would fill in and just take over his duties as just to basically be a help in whatever's needed on the site so it's probably of the three jobs, it's one of the easier jobs and with, uh, in some cases it's not really a heck of a lot of work at all and it's a good way to get used to it before you would step in the following year and be like the stats person or the, uh, the main judge or chief judge, whatever you want to call it, of the Polar Bear Challenge. So anyway, go over, take a look. If you're interested in giving it a try, sign up. It's not hard to do. I mean, three rides all the way from December, January, and the first half of February. All you have to do is get three rides in and record at least three minutes of them at below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees centigrade. Not that hard to do. And uh, if that's all you're going for at your first shot or that's all you care to go for, absolutely fine. But the main thing is just to have some fun, get some cold riding skills, uh, that's the one main thing that I'm at it for, really. It's not to gain points. It's not to win any prizes or trophies. It's nice if I do, but I feel that each year I've at least gained a little more skill in cold weather riding. And uh, that doesn't mean you push it into the danger zone. That doesn't mean you, uh, if you do not feel comfortable with it, don't take your bike out. There's plenty of days. In 77 days, unless you live up in Alaska, and maybe even in that case it's uh, probably doable, uh, no reason to put yourself in any kind of danger. You can do it and do it safely. So anyway, I think that's about it. Go check it out and I hope you join.